Hi, it's Valerie with My Stitch and Dollyverse. Today's video, we're going to be opening some smart doll wigs. I'm <laughs> so excited. Let's go. So, you guys, if you've seen my last video, it was showing these two girls. This is my new smart doll, the pear shaped body. And then this was the classic one I got, I think, last year. I love them both. I really love the pear body, and I can't wait to get more in this size. These are their original wigs that came with them. I ordered a couple of wigs off of Etsy. There are several companies that sell wigs on Etsy. I'll link the ones that I got down below so you can see. I haven't opened the package yet, so I don't know exactly like how they're gonna fit or look, but it's an experiment. And we're going to try them on both the girls. And then after that, I did buy some more fashions at Walmart for the 18 inch doll that we're going to put on these girls as well. I'm really excited. Uh, I think they're going to look super cute. So, and if you're new here, my name is Valerie. This is my Stitch and Dollyverse. We talk about all kinds of dolls. We talk about sewing for our dolls and doll fashion. So if you're new here, please subscribe and stick around and hang out with us. And yeah, so let's open those wigs. So I do collect all kinds of dolls, including smart doll. I only have two right now, and that's Okay, that's still a collection, right? <laughs> I also collect Blythe dolls. I love Blythe dolls. I have Pulup dolls. I have Barbies and Rainbow House Shadow High, Monster High, and as well as Tonner dolls. I love fashion dolls in general, and I love creating fashions, making patterns, and making garments for my dolls. I like to upcycle materials, or I like to take garments from other dolls and see what's going to fit on <laughs> my dolls that I like to dress up. But today we're going to look at this awesome package. I started to open it and see what we got. I got two wigs and I'm going to try it on both the dolls. So the first one I got, it says Guinevere Oceana. <laughs> That's the, I guess, style and color. It's ombre actually from like a uh, lavender periwinkle. Is that the same color? Um, to a almost a teal blue. So it changes colors and I, I really like that. I like the thickness of the these that I saw online. And then you guys, I got an Afro. I am so excited for this. I really wanted it for my pear shaped doll. I recently got the Nima from Rachel Hoffman. She has the Afro. I absolutely love that doll so much. And so I'm all about the Afros. I have a Barbie made to move curvy doll. That's one of my favorite Barbies. And I love making garments for her and redressing her. And she also has an Afro. I don't know. I just like more style when it comes to hair. And that's definitely a, an awesome style to have. I'm going to try this wig on my pear body doll, smart doll. And then I'm going to also try it on my classic. I don't know if it's going to look good or kind of not quite her, you know, style. We'll see. And we'll be right back. Okay. I took it out. This is, if you can see it, this is very curly right now. It has a, a net on it. So it's going to be a little bit fluffier. Right now it just looks like a curly do, but I am looking on the inside to see if there's a front and a back. Okay, I see it, I found it. We're gonna try it on this girl. So it does need some picking and right now I don't have a wig cap on her. I actually should put one on before I show you because the wig is moving around. Um, or a skull cap, I guess. I don't know what it's called, those little silicone things. So I'm gonna go and find one. So it's one of these like pieces, it's silicone and it goes on their head. And this is actually from another doll of mine, a match girl doll, but it they have the same size head. So 
it fits. And I'm thinking that this is the back because there's a seam in the back. That's how I go by, like there's a seam right there. So I'm gonna assume that that's the center back. And yeah, it does stay on better. The wig does need to be picked out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cute I can see where it's going here it just needs to relax a little bit from being in that netting but look at that she's cute oh my gosh it really does change her look completely and from this you know relaxed curl look to this afro that's more of a natural kind of fro more relaxed i guess i want to say um the other one like i have for nima she, she has a very tight curl in her hair this one is more of a fatter curl so it has a different look but i feel like we can really pick this out and make it really big it's getting there. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. I don't think it's going to look the same or have that same feel. Oh, there we go. She needs some in her, in her face. Oh, she's so cute. Okay. I don't think it's going to have the same feel for the classic doll I have. We can try it on her too and see what it looks like. But first I want to try on the blue wig on her. I like it when the wigs come with these cardboard pieces. It really does keep the wig nice. I have made wigs in the past and I really enjoy doing so. Um, so it's called Bee Beauty Dolls is the company on Etsy. And I'll put a link to them below. They have all kinds of colors of wigs and styles and it's really nice. It's a really thick curly wig. So, yeah, let's put this on her. How pretty. Look at the color. Oh, it's so soft, too. It's really high quality. It's really pretty. It's really nice. It's really long, too. Oh, wow. Look at that. How nice. I love this wig. So here's one thing to note as well. Look at that. I love the length of this. It is really soft. And you never know, like when you see a wig online and what it's going to actually look like or feel like. Is it going to look like it has the right weight for hair or is it going to be kind of, you know, lighter weight, cheaper, I guess, not as full. This is definitely a full, thick wig. And I just, I love this. So pretty, so beautiful. And here's one thing to note, and I had thought of this when I bought this wig because I originally bought it for my classic doll, is that it's going to have a, a scalp and it's going to have a scalp color. As you can see, her scalp color is a white scalp, like really white. But I mean, it's not that noticeable like this, if you have it like this, or if you even like pull back her hair a little bit or something, you know, you're not gonna, it's not that noticeable. Just to, you know, keep in mind, depending on what doll you're going to use it for, uh, it's going to show a scalp color. And I don't know, this is so, this is going to be fun to style. I just love 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 the colors in this so we're going to try it on the other doll as well and see <laughs> what these both look like and this is her original color and she's got blue eyes and i was thinking that that blue wig would look good on her because of her eye color and of course you can always change their eye color and i am assuming you guys know how to put wigs on they are a bit tight when you put them on and that's a good thing you want them to be tight i put them on first trying to make sure i don't tangle up the hair uh put it on her forehead first and hold it in place where you want it to go and then it's really stretchy on the underneath and the back so grab that and then just pull it down over her head and then adjust it from there. 
and it is really thick and I like how that is on the top like that. It gives her almost a style already, but it's really pretty with her eyes. It really does match her eyes and her eye color. So it just needs to be adjusted and styled a little bit more, but yeah, it's really long. Very pretty wig. Okay, let's try on the afro. <laughs> Honestly, it looks cute on both of these girls. I feel like once it gets picked out, I like this part where it goes like partially in front of her, you know, face like that. I will say that this is a little bit bigger. It's not as a t of a tight fit and it might be because of sewing on the curls. I'm not sure. Definitely need the skull cap or the wig cap underneath to hold it in place. It does fit differently. It's so cute. It is really cute, especially if you put like bows in her hair or something like that. That's what I see. Oh, I love it so much. I did see some other wigs that had more of a ringlet kind of full, um, not afro, but just like big ringlets. And I kind of want to try one of those wigs. I feel like that would be very pretty. And yeah, i show you the inside. You can see how it's sewn onto uh, the mesh there. And then the elastic. It's just bigger and not as tight of a fit. These really come in handy to help keep that on. So cool. It's so much fun to play with. And I also got, you guys, I got some fashions, some more Hello Kitty fashions and Care Bear fashions at Walmart for the 18-inch doll that fit my pear body. Smart dolls. I really want to try those on and see how they look. So this set I actually already took off of the hanger. It's a Care Bears, like, leotard, um... You know, almost like it is a swimsuit. It looks like a swimsuit to me, but I think it's supposed to be a leotard and this is the tutu piece to it. And I love that. It came with some little slippers. They do fit the doll. They can slip off easily. So maybe like a piece of elastic across the top of the foot to help keep those on. Let's try on this suit. It's super cute. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you guys. That is so stinking cute. It's almost like a 50s boy short, you know, like cut on the legs there. Oh, and look, the back. So sticky cute. And yes, I am holding it in a little bit right here on the top. It's a little big, but bigger, it, it, that's good because we could take that in. Oh man, it's so cute. And I can tell you from what it looks like right here. So you can see the straps come to right there. It's really open on the side. And that could be, we could take that in on the side there, you know, so it's not so exposed. When you take it in in the back, it's going to help with those straps and help them stay up if you, you know, if they're more towards the center back. So yeah, I just need to take it in a little bit and it's so cute. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. So that's the Care Bear, uh, My Life As at Walmart. Let's put on her little tutu skirt and see what that looks like. I mean, how cute is she? Look at that. Oh, I love it so much. The little Care Bear here is so sweet. It's see-through and sparkly and the rainbow ribbon and it fits well on her waist. It does just go right to her natural waist and it looks great. It looks amazing. I love this look. This is definitely a winner for me. Oh my gosh. So these are the looks that are on the hanger at Walmart um, where the My Life As dolls are. They're, they're 18 inch doll. 
This one isn't in a package, it's on a hanger. I'll show you the other ones that I got. I haven't tried on yet. Oh, this is a win. So here are the little slippers. I just found them. They look like this. They're just like, I guess they're supposed to be ballet slippers and they do fit her feet, although they are a bit wide. They're the right length. I could put like a little elastic around them. They could be like bed slippers, not real shoes, but they're cute. Put a, like an elastic across the top of her foot and help it stay on and maybe cinch in that uh, piece, but <laughs> I think they're sweet. I have this one. This is the tag for it, if you've seen this tag, My Life As. And this one is a Care Bear dress. Yes, it is a very little girl type dress, but I still think it's so cute. It's my style. I love it. A little Care Bear bag and a headband with a star on it. This is the Hello Kitty one. There's lots of Hello Kitty ones that they have. This one is like an oversized t-shirt with sheer, you know, sleeves, Velcros up the back, and then a rainbow shirt with a little headband, and it has like a the bow, you know, like Hello Kitty's bow on it. And then I got, they have so many different styles. This one, which I really love because it has the Care Bear face on it and a skirt. I think it's two pieces. Oh, it's a dress with an extra top on it. I just noticed that. Oh, it's like an apron. So this is an oven mitt and a little Care Bear ears with a chef hat. <laughs> That's funny. I just realized what that was supposed to be. So I want to try on these and see how they fit her. It's just really cute. It's a really short dress, which actually adds to the cute style of it, I think. I would love to have tall socks maybe with this. I think that would be very sweet. Or just like a springtime look with some sandals maybe. Ah, I just love this. I think this is a great fit. It I don't have to take it in or anything. It just fits her really well. This is the medium bust on my doll. The headband probably would fit too. I'm guessing it has the Care Bear star. It's big, but it will sit on top of her head. <laughs> so cute. I think that's so sweet. And then this one in particular comes with this little bag. That's like a wrist bag. I mean, it. I would rather it be a bag, like a cross body bag. Oh, she's so, she just looks great in everything, right? She is so cute. Here is the Hello Kitty look. I feel like I need to just adjust the way that this sits on her. The shirt is definitely oversized and it also only Velcros up to a certain point. So I feel like if it was all the way, yeah, it would fit better. If you just pull it in a little bit, it lays better on her. And the skirt is cute. It's, of course, again, a bit short. But if you layer it up, you could get a double layered skirt. It's still really sweet. The shirt would look good with any outfit since it's two pieces. You could definitely have this shirt with a pair of pants or something that you already own for her. Oh, she's just, a, just so great. Everything looks so good. I could pull it down to her hips, but it doesn't make the fit look any better on the skirt ruffle piece. Yeah. So anyways, that's look number two. And it did come with this Hello Kitty <laughs> headband, which honestly could be worn with any look. Very sweet. Okay, I'm gonna try on the last look. I think I really like this one because it's a full dress and I'm not such a fan of this pink ribbon, but I feel like it it stops on the side seam. If you can see that. I feel like it could come off. It's not the same has this, you know, it's kind it's a different material and also a little bit darker than the neckline. It's not 
necessary to have that there. And I would still pull this in a little bit more so it's not as big on her. Um, fit is important, you know. But the armhole and the sleeve and stuff looks really cute on her. You could, again, buy a second one of these and then add another layer of a skirt down below. So it looks like a two-tiered ruffled skirt and make it a little bit longer. It doesn't need to be a whole lot longer because it's just like mid-thigh right there. Super cute. The apron right here, it almost looks like one of those summer hippie tank tops. Um, it has like the ties and the ties. I want to try it with this, but it definitely, <laughs> it's cute. I like the Care Bear on there and it, oh, it, it needs to be ironed right here, but that does look really sweet on her, you know? And then the chef's hat, you could take the little chef's hat off and still have the cute ears, but <laughs> that's so funny. It just, it just reminds me of Smurfs, this little chef's hat. So without it, it's cute, right? I would definitely take that off. <laughs> it's a cute, sweet dress though. I don't like this ribbon. I would definitely take that off. That would be my choice. But I love the Care Bear you know, design on it. Really great, really sweet dress. So all in all, these garments fit my Pear Body Smart Doll, and I think that they look super cute. It's not just a fit. I think it's an awesome fashion. Very, very cute, especially with this wig. I like this wig. It's very youthful, um, very sweet. As opposed to like my, the Afro that I just got, I would love to make her bell bottom jumpsuit with that. Uh, really go out there with the fashion, get her some gold boots, some other gold accessories. I feel like that would look really good on her. But for this little sweet summer dress, this wig looks the best. So let me know what you think. Are you going to try these garments on your doll? Do you think that it is a fit? Do you like this kind of fashion? Definitely my style. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, stick around. We'll be doing some sewing this month. We have some Barbie sewing coming up. I'm really excited as well as the new Mojo Dojo Ken I got in the mail. Ah, so excited. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.